Hello, I'm Zardis, and let's play Crusader Kings 2. Welcome back to my Ireland series. This will be episode 6, and today we are continuing to do some raids under our young chief, who is only 21, and he is working on just keeping the island weak, is what I am trying to do here. And uh, in the meantime, uh, try and... Had it or like get a claim somewhere else. So we looted a little bit there. They can't do any more. Let's see, where could we send them? What I want to do is I want to try to stick to people who already don't like us. Let's go ahead and go over here and see if we can raid there. But I also want to try to avoid anybody who's too strong. Art Garius has arrested an armed man with ragged armor and a spotty horse. He claims that he's a hedge knight. Okay, so we can gain prestige by saying that it is clearly a bandit, and we want as much prestige as possible. Because now we have over 500, and if we were to uh, go to war, we could come on and add, or like we could get a tribal army. So we are sick we're getting the trade ill and that is going to lower fertility further which this guy is already not very fertile and that makes it a little bit hard because our brother is the heir right now and uh, it's not good because he is only 12. so i mean this realm has already had a lot of instability in terms of We've gone through quite a few different chiefs already, and it is so early in the game that I'm a little bit nervous, but let's see if we can do anything about our neighbors. You don't have any kids, so that is not going to do us any good. Yeah, you can keep looting there. But what I'm trying to do is see if I can come in here. You have a big title. You don't. Let's double check that. Okay, so here, this title goes to Imog. This one does as well. Okay. So down here, you have a pretty big title too. A, no, like a Ducal level title, so that won't do us any good. You have a Ducal level title. All right, so the rest of them, we're not going to be able to weaken all that much. But we might be able to come over. Okay, we got 23 gold from that. And a son was born to my courtier. That's fine. Okay, so we gained more gold. I think, well, let's send him over here, I guess. Do some raids in Wales over here. And that should be a little bit helpful as well, because then we can hopefully get some more money over there. Money is nice to have. We have 600 prestige, so we can come in here to Dublin and see if there's anything else we can upgrade here. We could just cause gold to upgrade. Let's go ahead and do that. Upgrade there. The rest cost 200 yeah, we can't even do this one yet. But we could do a war camp soon. And that would get us more stuff as well. Really, I want to get the hidden the hill fort up. Because we need those to be as highly upgraded before we can uh, convert to feudalism. Which I want to do because I don't like Gavelkind Succession. And it is making me have a little bit of trouble planning like I mean right now for him it's not a big deal because we only have we don't have any sons but under Gavelkind your territory gets divided between your sons so it can make a little bit of planning be a little bit difficult the siege is about to be done down here get more money 6.3 there oh good we're not sick anymore can siege a little bit more there in the meantime, 
Okay, who is this? My sister is now a brilliant strategist. That's fine. Let's come out here. And this is leader of the Scottish Revolt. We'll keep an eye on that. Pictish. They're kind of weak already. But York and Mercia. You could be weekend. I wonder if I can plot to kill you. Only 11%. That's not worthwhile. Okay, that siege worked. Let's bring you in here now. What we could do is we could work to try to weaken France. Still not a lot of plot power there. Maybe we keep France nice and strong, I guess. Okay, my brother Congolak is not exerting himself in his studies. I am starting to despair. So we can... Let him get slothful, which it would not be good. Where we can talk to him about being diligent, and then he might get diligent. He still might get slothful. This one, he... Yeah, we're going to do this. Talk to him about being diligent. I don't know what happened. Did he end up getting that? Temperate, charitable... Oh, he didn't get either one. Well, that's too bad. Diligent is a really great trait to have. But in the meantime, we have construction going on here. That's almost done. You are working to get a claim, but you're not really doing a good job because it's taking forever. But you are doing better than the previous uh, chancellor, who I think only had a 10% chance as I was trying to get claims. So I will take this. Now over here, he raised a little bit of troops, but not much. So that would be fine. And really, I mean, our troops are getting a little bit weakened. There we built our market town, so we should be earning a little bit more gold now, too. Come on. Hurry up. Bum, bum, bum. Get some gold here. Ah, we didn't get any. It's too bad. We're, ooh, we're looting another thing here. There's three things in this town. That's good. Dublin. Let's see what else we can build. We can do that war camp now. Or let's go ahead and do more training grounds because that increases our levy size. Cost prestige. Cost a lot of prestige, but we'll get that back. Hopefully we won't need any tribal army in the meantime. And his reign is going pretty well. I mean, it feels like it's lasting a while. I still wish he would get a son, though. Wife doesn't like us all that much. Let's give her a gift. Maybe that'll help. Okay, we still didn't get any money here. Keep looting, though, because hopefully we'll get something out of it. Poachers have been seen in Meath, so I should probably send my spy master and marshal to investigate the matter. Okay, we have more important things to do. We can gain a little bit of prestige lose intrigue where we can send them to search for poachers let's do that and uh, we're still trying to figure okay got two young poachers okay you can yeah deal with them yourself get me my prestige there's still oh 60 percent that's a little bit better what is it here 25 percent yeah i mean our plot power is not very good. Still didn't get anything from looting this dude. Go out this way. And I still wish that we would... Uh, he came of age. This guy down here. 
but I wish we could get a claim and then we could expand a little bit more. If there is a God, why is the world filled with hardships, grief, and heretics? Okay, if we say that God has a plan, we might gain zealous, which would be uh, not that great. Or I could gain cynical, which would increase intrigue. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so we are cynical, which is fine. Okay, what is this? There are so many things to do, so many responsibilities filling my mind that I barely have any time left to sleep or eat. All this stress is turning me into a hollow shell of my former self. What else can I do? So I can keep abstaining from eating and become malnourished. Which would increase stewardship. Oh man, or I could change dieting. Malnourished would be bad. But let's do it. Ah, we gained it. Man, so fertility for this dude is really low. But let's see, maybe we'll get something here. Okay, so my wife came into my room this morning to speak of me growing concern of uh, hers of my health. She believes that all this fasting might be putting me under serious risk and encouraged me to eat more. Yes, I would like to do that. She has a point. But now I get a hard diet and then I get all of that stuff. Or I could ignore and then she won't like me. Well, we need her to like us. We'll do that. We lost malnourished. That's good. We're under a hard diet though. But that's okay. That one will pass. That one is time-based. So we're coming here. They are suffering attrition. We don't want that. Let's bring them back. And uh, we'll dismiss them. And take a little break from raiding. And then... Uh, then we'll get started again. In a little bit. Okay, so this military is going to be dismissed. All right, and I'm actually going to take a little break. I will be back in a quick snap of your fingers. Okay, so I am back, got the baby up and gave her a bottle. And now we are, oh, I pushed this wrong button. I keep pushing buttons to like the WASD to move around on the map, but those are hotkeys for other things, which is, you know, how it goes. But anyway, we are going to continue here. We're gonna speed this up. And in fact, we're paused right now. We'll speed up a little bit, and I apologize for the baby in the background. Hey, look at that. Our wife is pregnant. Our wife? That's kind of weird. The chief's wife is pregnant. There we go. So hopefully that will be... Okay. My sister wants to get married, so we'll pause here and get her married. Yes, I will find you someone nice. Uh, I want a matrilineal marriage so that maybe we will get some. Although, you know what we could do? No, because we, I was going to say we could use somebody to get a claim, but then we would have to uh, land them before we could do anything. So we'll go ahead and do this. You hold claims to Bavaria. Sure, let's go ahead and do it. Where is Bavaria, actually? Part of the Carling dynasty. Bavaria. Oh, you know what? Let's come back here and try that again. Over here. Just to, Yep, you're far enough away. I will arrange marriage between my sister and you. No, that is not what I want here. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, my sister... This one wants to get married. And we're going to say you... Yes, propose that, and we will get a lot of prestige for that. Do it. Right, so they have arrived 
at the court. At first, the small uh, at first the signs were small, easily dismissed as coincidences. But now they are becoming too frequent to be ignored. The omens surrounding my wife's pregnancy are terrible. Okay, I could say that I am misinterpreting the signs because of my high learning skill, or I could say hopefully they're just coincidences, and then she might get stressed. Okay, let's do this. So that is good, and we are trying to slow this back down. Okay, Carl Carling has arrived at the court. Don't really care about that. I mean, yeah, we have we can press his claims now against Bavaria, but we're not going to do with the, do anything with that. Although that could slowly end up getting our own dynasty on Bavaria over there, so we should look at that. But it occurred to me that my wife is feeling somewhat gloomy as of late. The burden of her unborn child is surely causing some or hum humoral on whatever. Okay, I will buy her something nice, and I might gain the trait charitable. Let's do it. Then it happened. All right, let's look at Bavaria. Bavaria is over here. And I could now come in here and declare war and press the claim for Prince Carl. Which actually he is 879. But he's also allied with the petty king of Essex, which I don't want to go to war with. So we're going to leave that alone then. And in the meantime, hopefully we will soon have a son be born so you are pregnant final months of your pregnancy you have a new heir and it is a son excellent yeah we'll keep it flan flan i guess yeah we'll do it all right so now we have fulfilled that ambition. We can come in here and change our ambition. Uh, don't need a daughter. I want to improve intrigue. That would be very useful. Okay, and now I don't want any more sons. So what we could do is we could imprison our wife and then we wouldn't be able to have any more children. All of my subject's opinions will be lowered by 40%. I don't think we want to do that. So we just have to hope that we don't get any more children. Or we could try and kill her, but that won't really do much good. And then we would lose the bonus of having a wife. So we'll leave that. Now our son, did he get any cool traits? I don't see any great ones. He's not a genius, which... I think it shows up in here, yeah. Genius there. As is tradition, she underwent her churching after recovering, and she is back. Sure, I can calm her down because of my high diplomacy. She'll lose the stress. Sure. Okay. Uh, but then let's come back here. He doesn't have any traits. We're going to keep a really close eye on him because... Obviously, he is our son, and we want to be very close, uh, closely in there. Hoggle's special interest. Anything he does, we will know about, which will be good. Let's go ahead and speed this up again. Kongalak, my brother, is now of legal age. And, you know, he is a little bit of a threat now because he is next in line so here he he doesn't have a huge threat and he only has weak claims all right church preaches celibacy and my friends try to lure me into hedonism by showing me the pleasures of life i can't really decide if i want to, oh i do want i want to go after celibacy even though it will give me piety instead of prestige. I have a son now. So now, 
fertility is lower. I only want one son. So that is good. And hopefully we can get him to be a, a very good heir. And then we'll go from there. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you next time. Take care.